Now, my next guest tells us it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman when you're managing money as long as you focus on the job and get it done. And considering she manages billions of dollars every day, we asked her to sit down and give us some advice. For over 30 years, she was known as Kalpana Moparya from ICICI. Today, she heads the India operations of JP Morgan and with equal aplomb. Enormously respected in the banking circle, it's no wonder that she was named one of the 50 most powerful women in international business. But don't let her awe-inspiring career path intimidate you. She's also a die-hard Bollywood fan and has a weakness for beautiful saris and diamond jewellery. Kalpana, it's such a pleasure to have you on this show and to get to know you a little better considering you're a role model for working women across the country. Now, you keep saying right now in your current position that your gender is irrelevant and it probably is. But when you started your career nearly four decades ago, it must have been relevant then. Could you tell us if there were instances back then when you felt like you had to work harder because you're a woman? Not at all. In fact, believe me, it's only in the last 10 years that I've even spoken about the gender bit. That's because all of you keep on asking me, what is it that you did special to come up? I've now been in uh, the financial sector for 38 years, close to 38 years. Not one day did I feel special because I was a woman or I was discriminated against because I was a woman. There was a time when you were at ICICI when uh, there was this sarcastic term people, you know, other bankers in, in Mumbai used, they said it was the petticoat brigade of ICICI because there were so many women who were doing so well back then. Was that, did that bother you or was it hurtful at any point? Or? No, no, it was a source of great pride to say what a fantastic meritocracy we are because this is not something that, you know, we focused on. We just focused on merit, get the right person for the right job. And as I always say, men are just as smart as we are, so you will end up with roughly the same number of men. Which is, which is the case now, even, even in J.P. Morgan, where you, you head the India operations, you have about 30% of your uh, employees who are women. Now, for the other uh, women at, at ICICI, you were a source of advice and, uh, and a mentor, and I understand they came to you quite often for advice. If you were to give advice to the working women in the country right now, what would you tell us? The one advice I would have is to say, do not get focused on the fact that I'm a woman and therefore what is different for me. So I'm a great believer in highlighting any issues where you find exclusion. So if you're excluded because you're from a certain academic career or you're excluded because of a socioeconomic class or you're excluded because of your gender, I think we should definitely raise these issues. But otherwise, just focus on why you've joined the company, what is it that the company does, what is it that you can do to improve the customer experience. If you're in an internal uh, facing job, what is it that you can do to increase your internal customer experience. To my mind, engaging on these issues as to what can I do which is going to be better for the company and therefore better for the society is the right focus to have rather than saying, woman, backward uh, class or whatever. I want to take you back a little bit. There was an interview uh, some time ago in a magazine when you said as a little girl you wanted to get married and you just wanted to start a family. When did that change? Who influenced you enough to become who you are today? My mother. Because she had this great belief that a woman must be self-sufficient. And uh, she kind of, you know, really bore that down all of us. We, I didn't want to do it but I had no choice. We were talking before we started this interview about young women managing their money. Even though they are out right now earning, they are possibly not making the big money decisions. Uh, in your experience, what does it take really for, for a woman to get over this whole prejudice that a woman can't handle money or we shouldn't be making these decisions or I just don't understand it as a woman. What does it take? What is that? What's that push, that advice that you would give women who are afraid of it? So once again, I, the best way I can explain this to you is in, in my personal context. I've never felt that a man will give me a better advice. I mean, I felt that I need professional advice because a lot of us are what we call uh, busy, lazy people. We are so busy with our work that we are very lazy about our own personal investments. But I guess this is true of both men and women. So I would look forward to professional advice, whether from a man or a woman. 
uh, in terms of uh, you know helping me out on how I should be doing something. I look for people to execute an idea that has come out for. In your off time, you you enjoy traveling. You enjoy watching Bollywood films, also from what I understand. How important is it, in your view, for anybody who's working, irrespective of male or female, to take that time off and maybe unwind or take time off for yourself? It's absolutely essential, and I think each one of us does it in our different ways. Some people say I just don't do it, but I think each one of us does it in different ways. Some do it far better than the others. and each one again has a passion for something or the other i have always been an unabashed lover of bollywood you're uh, a shahrukh khan fan from what i understand yes, absolutely <laughs> okay and uh, finally kalpana if you were to turn back the clock at over these last 35 40 years and do anything differently what would it be so there are two things i would want to have done differently one is very personal i do not have children i wish I had a child or if not I'd adopted a kid so that's something which is a big regret in life. The other thing is I've always felt that I was at a disadvantage because I did not have a management degree. I was one of the few people in ICICI who did not have a management degree. And therefore now when I my nephew is doing management and you know I from time to time help him with his studies and I truly envy him what he's learned in academics. about management as a uh, subject which i had to learn the hard way only on the job so now when you when you hire uh, as as a manager and a leader do you keep in mind that you want someone with a managerial degree or you think they can also learn on the job i think they can learn on the job as well you asked me what would i have done differently probably this is uh, one regret but uh, when i when we hire just now we actually hire for whatever is that functional area that we are looking for so we actually hire a lot of engineers in our uh, knowledge centers and they've done extraordinarily well for us 